I thought about titling this video, Before You Spend Money on an Aim Point, Watch This. That's not a real original sound in video. But this is a review of something that was made to do the exact same job that an aim point, which can sell anywhere from seven to 900 bucks and up, can do at a significantly lower price. Enter the SIG Romeo MSR, which is a very simple, non-feature-laden, bare-bones red dot. It's exactly what I was looking for without breaking the bank this time around. Features like covered turrets are missing. You can also see that the lens covers are missing from my particular model. has two night vision settings, 12 overall. There you're looking at the tool that comes with it. It's not going to last you long. Here you see those lens caps I get rid of. Just don't use them. From a feature standpoint, it's a 20 millimeter tube. It has a 2 MOA red dot and it's got 20,000 hours of battery life. So the real question is, how does it hold up? Welcome to Gun News and Reviews. I'm David Drake. Today we're going to take a look at uh, what uh, most would consider uh, a low end of the budget red dot for uh, a modern sporting rifle, hence the name the SIG Romeo MSR, which stands for Modern Sporting Rifle. We're going to take a, a real good look at this, go over some specs. Uh, I'm going to point you to an incredible link to a website which discusses uh, torture tests that this thing was through. It's really phenomenal. Um, the reason I like it, it's just got that simple kind of tubular design, which you can see right here. Doesn't have sleek curves, angles. It doesn't look like a, a race car or an airplane. It's simple. It's a tube. Um, it doesn't have a lot of features that guys get excited about. I know when I'm looking at red dots, I'm, I either want on or off typically or you know a million hours of battery life and this this one kind of uh, uh, I would say splits the difference it's 20,000 hours of battery life which you do your math that's a little bit over two years instead of remembering five years from now to change the battery on your aim point you need to do this every two years for me not a big deal it was very interesting seeing how this function. I'm going to get the bat out of the way first. This dial really takes some effort to turn. You're not going to do it very quickly. It does have a couple settings on it for infrared, um, for Unite Vision guys. It's really hard to turn, but here's the good news. Between every setting, it turns off. So if you wanted to preserve battery life, for example, and, and not have a continuous on for two years, you have that option. And then when you pick it up, all you have to do is just click it once and you're going to be on. Um, I'm going to talk about this with the idea that my starting point is going to be aim point products. And in the past, I've spent a lot of money on aim point products. I've spent a lot of money on Trigicon products. I've spent a lot of money on EOTech products. Um, I became interested with SIG, with the SIG Romeo 5, because everybody was raving about it, and they should. And by the way, it's made by Holosun. You're talking about um, an optic that can be had on the market uh, at the low end of the spectrum. You're talking about under $130 all day long. I've seen them um, much lower than that on specials. And it's a bare bones, simple optic. So like I said, my skepticism ran into the direction of us, okay, how durable is it? Is it gonna blink on or is it gonna blink off? I've had Chinese made, American branded uh, optics, and I'm not, I'm not gonna go after brands right now, but from a couple different uh, manufacturers that would after exposure to recoil in a normal AR-15, blink on and off, and you, you felt that they weren't being dependent. So uh, that's the kind of thing I'm interested with this. Time's going to tell, but today we're just going to look at how, how to do it at the range. How does it do in terms of uh, your grouping? 
Also have to acknowledge that that could be a function of the rifle you're using. Want to give a quick thanks to our friends at Remington for supporting the channel by providing ammunition for today's shoot. I'm going to use a BCM SOCOM barrel. It's 14 and a half inches long. We're shooting off a rest seated using that 20 rounder. It's a lot easier to uh, use for sighting in. And you can see we're at 25 yards. And there's our zeroed shots. It didn't take long, so we thought let's take this guy off. Practice a while with the open sights, put it back on, and see what difference it makes. And as you can see, it seems to make no difference at all, so that's good. How's it do when we decide to uh, put a lot of rounds downrange and get this guy hot? We ran approximately 100 rounds quickly through. The purpose of this is twofold, see how quick we can reacquire the target, but to also see... Does the point of aim change after use or after the barrel gets heated up? You can see if you aim small, you hit small. This is the result of that mag dump I just showed you, and uh, not bad. Again, just at 25 yards, but that'll be good out to 300. A note to you would-be warriors. If you absolutely want to have the same uh, tested quality of a red dot that our armed forces gets, then you want to look at this and other brands of that ilk. And um, be honest with you, I'm not going to shoot any better than I did today uh, with a red dot on, on an AR carbine length, whether I use this one or whether we use the SIG, which, you know, you're talking $600 less, right? Or more. Anyway, really appreciate you watching today. For Gun News and Reviews, I'm David Drake. Please like and subscribe.